Betts swings and drives the ball the other way. I mean, the experience is big increase this influx and in, in seeing art meet sport. I think what's happened is you see people finding an outlet in that. Artist Lauren Taylor has found her voice, creating unique portraits of some of the best baseball players in the world. What I've always known, dirt, grass, baseballs, bats, players in uniforms, focus. But before she could focus on showing the stories of athletes through art, she had to understand her own journey. Well, I mean, most athletes know you're from a certain age, all you do is sport, eat, school, sport, eat. Lauren's life was built around the game of softball, but four years ago, she took a line drive to the face, suffering a traumatic brain injury. I lost my identity entirely when I lost being an athlete. Um, it was very clear to me that I was at an age where I wasn't going to do anything more exciting with sports, um, and the doctors were pretty clear that another blow to the head would be a big deal. For several months, life was dark, depression set in, and Lauren struggled to get through the day. I always dealt with anxiety and panic, but never that like crippling depression as well, um, where life just feels hard. Like the idea of just getting up felt like the hardest obstacle. But Lauren's competitive nature at heart drew her in a different direction, reuniting with something she was familiar with. So I started trying to find my voice in art again, only this time it was more about sports because it was what I missed so much. She began to create art on birchwood panels, featuring superstar names like Mookie Betts and Anthony Rizzo. I started trying to figure out how can I create a, a story with just one like main image, yet have it within the jersey or the reflection of the helmet or the sunglasses. I did that first with um, Mookie Betts kind of having the reflection of Fenway Park and some sunglasses and then Anthony Rizzo and doing Wrigley Field in a helmet. Soon word of Lauren's work spread through the league and she found herself hand delivering portraits to players including former Vandy boys Dansby Swanson, Mike Yastrzemski, Walker Bueller and Tony Kemp. Vanderbilt has been pretty good to me. <laughs> It's been incredibly good to me. Like, there's some of my favorite people that I've gotten to meet. Bonding through art. A lot of good reactions, and, and I've also been able to build relationships a bit um, with, with players. And building a legitimate career. Lauren's work is now licensed by Major League Baseball, and she is one of five females designing cards for Topps Project 70. You kind of, you have to wave a little, a little longer to get the attention. And once you do, it's like, you've got to take it and run with it because you're actually opening the door for a lot of females behind you um, that deserve it. So um, I take it as an honor and also a privilege. Lauren's struggles have turned into her strengths. And while she's no longer playing the game, she's hitting home runs, expressing her love and sharing it at a whole new level. It's been, uh, it's been special though. I, I, I I can't deny that it has been a fast ride in a sense, um, that it's been, yeah, it's, it's been fun.